you can directly practice as a dental surgeon in Canada, dear students. How is that happening? Let us go in detail. In Canada, there is an examining board called National Dental Examining Board of Canada. This National Dental Board examining in this board is particularly conducting exams for license to give to the dentist to practice in Canada. So any international dentist who have qualified from non-accredited dental degrees or graduation. So those are the set of dental graduates can give these set of, you know, licensure exams to practice in Canada as a direct dental surgeon. What to do? What are those, ex what are those exams? Let us see the students. The first and foremost thing is that you have to create your online profile. So create your own profile with all your data in a website called nded.ca. So this is the website where you have to actually create your profile and submit all your documents for NDEB verification. So once your certificates are verified and your profile is created, you are all set to apply for an exam, first licensure exam called Assessment of Fundamental Knowledge. We'll go into the details in the further slides. First exam is Assessment of Fundamental Knowledge. Once you clear Assessment of Fundamental Knowledge, you have to give your assessment of clinical judgment. Once you clear your assessment of clinical judgment, you have to give the next exam, that is National Dental Examination of Clinical Competence. Dear students, assessment of fundamental knowledge and assessment of clinical judgment, these two are your objective, objective uh, centered examinations. So they are like MCQs, written examination. When it comes to National Dental Examination of Clinical Competence, this is an exam which you have to perform your clinical skills. Then Objective Structured Clinical Examination is the last exam for the license for you to get into practice in Canada. So they are the set of four examinations, AFK, ACJ, Clinical Competence, and Objective Structured Clinical Examination. Then if you qualify all the exams, you will get the provisional licensure to practice in dentistry, practice dentistry in Canada. So this is how uh, I N N D E B connect. You have to prepare your profile here. Then this is equivalency process form. You have to give all the documents for verification. Once your documents are verified, you are all set to give your applications for respective examinations. And these are your pieces for each and every exam. Assessment of fundamental knowledge and assessment of clinical judgment, clinical competence and objective structured examination, clinical examination. And these are your examination pieces. Assessment of fundamental knowledge, yes. Assessment of fundamental knowledge will test your application of fundamentals to the clinicals. So this is a 200 single answer or multiple single answer multiple choice questions. If you qualify with 75 or more scores, you can do ACTJ. This is completely about diagnosis treatment planning. Assessment of clinical judgment is completely about diagnosis and treatment planning with 150 single and multiple answer MCQs. So after you qualify these two, you will have clinical competence exam in Ottawa. Ottawa is a place in Canada where you have to perform the clinical procedures. So there will be seven clinical requirements that you have to perform on simulated patients and 10 situational judgment requirements. So they give several situations. You need to perform them. So then objective structured clinical examination with 200 questions. 
so there will be 50 standard single answer questions multiple choice questions will be there and 150 clinical case based questions 50 will be standard single question single answer mcqs and 150 case based questions I have just mentioned there are some clinical skills like seven clinical skills and five situational judgments that they were like this amalgam restorations class two class four composites crown preparation provisional restorations these are the things and situational judgment will judge your communication skills your uh, ethics your professional management and your practice and health promotion skills in you they will test in the situational judgment